Good evening to you all. Um, my name is Andrea Brown. I'm the founder of Get Rid Of and Donate. I will abbreviate the project name as GROWD for this presentation. Firstly, I would like to say thank you for recognising of what we are doing to help people in need and the environment. GROWD is an envi sorry, environmentally led community project all about recycling. The project is supported by 30 unpaid volunteers from the community and registered families. I started the project in 2017 after decluttering my own home. There was clothes, shoes and electronics all in good condition. I wanted to give them to someone who really could use them. Just before growth started, I was familiar with poverty in communities. I was doing some preliminary market research in 2016 where I was setting up a community market on an estate in South London. For everyone that I had spoken to, the conversations would then change about cost of living and maintenance issues. 65% of these households were employed people. I gathered their living circumstances didn't allow affordability for them to live comfortably and it was a real concern, especially homes with children. One of the biggest problems in the UK is the reduction and disposal of waste, which 57% is disposed to landfill. Also, England has 6.8 years left of non-hazardous landfill capacity. Landfill waste will increase as the population grows. Another issue is a lack of public awareness, how unwanted items can be recycled sustainably and put to good use. In support of reducing waste to landfills, Grode collects usable unwanted items and redistributes to people in need. These are identified as refugees, rough sleepers and vulnerable families. We host a community drop-off and collection service. Through the pandemic, there was an increase on donations as charity shops were closed and requests for items increased. Here, are, here we see the benefits and impact of recycling in the community. These are our overall distribution of unwanted items for 2022. 1,080 life bags for rough sleepers, 5,400 including the Ukraine crisis and 25,000 plus for families in need. These are astonishing figures from a small community project. With the living costs, these figures will increase over time as many will see their lives affected by the increase of the energy crisis. We currently are using a high expense non-compliant van. Non-compliant means that it does not meet the ULES standards of reducing carbon emissions, therefore releasing toxins into the atmosphere. Logistically, it also is a challenge. We have to use alternative transport, hiring a van for collections in North, West, East and Central London. Also, a greater disadvantage, the van is not large enough for collecting large items. Growth Project's ethos is about protecting the environment. We promote this eagerly within our practices. We require a vehicle that is practical for use, large enough, green or low emissions, economical and meets compliance standards. The current cost of running the van that we currently have strains state our savings on purchasing a new vehicle. Annually we spend £8,000 on all costs. The proposed van can reduce expenses which we can reinvest into the project and help our beneficiaries further. Meet Claudine. Claudine started attending open house in February 2022. She needed clothing for her children and also wanted to donate clothes that cho her children had grown out of. I later posted on the family group a wardrobe and I explained I didn't have a large van. She said, that's okay. We made arrangements to meet 
at the property. To my surprise, she didn't have a van. She came with her husband and a drill set, and they both dissembled the wardrobe and packed it into their car. Here are some other cases of desperate need for furniture. The families had to make arrangements to collect, and this can be challenging, as a single mum has two children under 10 years, one autistic and the other with severe ADHD. She was rehoused with no furniture and needed a sofa. A refugee family needed furniture and had to make arrangements to collect within two days as the householder was moving home. And the family with limited funds was unable to buy a washing machine and unable to meet arrangements to collect. There are many reasons why we require a large vehicle. Our commitment, be more productive and to reduce waste. But monetary donations do better if we could pass this on to support people in need. Road aims to help the reduction of environmental depletion and support people in need in a way that costs them nothing by recycling and reusing. Our way of a resolution is to help this environmental and living crisis with a need and not a want. A large van is a solution to take, make that impact. We hope we've been able to demonstrate the work we have achieved and would like to further to progress if we secure the funding to enable GROW to continue working in the community in a sustainable way. Thank you for listening.